Right, first and foremost, thank you very much for the invitation to speak. Um, and I hope I, 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 I merit and I hope it's, uh, it gives you a, a feeling in terms of my own personal view of Maximise and how um, I've, I've changed my view from the point that we first met uh, to the position that we're in now. The first thing was their, their, their novel approach. I, I felt that they had a different view in terms of how business was operating. I was quite impressed when I first met them. Persistence. Now, in business, I like persistence. I believe that that's the only thing you can do to get on. You've got to keep on trying, and when you get knocked back, you keep on trying again. And I hadn't met anyone quite like Maximize in terms of persistence. Mm -hmm. I mean, they tried every single avenue, and I thought, well, good, good for you. <laughs> timing. Now, timing's very important, and, and they got it absolutely square on, absolutely right. I have to admit to my shame, I had uh, uh, looked at uh, putting a power on onto a key site of ours, a 37 million pound builder, a, a real, really important job for us. I had, before, due to the downturn, we'd agreed to look at all the, the utilities across the board. We'd looked at our rates, we'd looked at our rent, we had looked at a whole range of things. I'd brought the appropriate consultants in, one of them, my colleague Andrew Duckett's here. We'd saved two and a half million pounds put on the bottom line, which was fantastic. And I thought to myself, well, I'll have a, I'll, I'll have a go at utilities. That doesn't seem too difficult to me. And I have to say that it was a complete and utter shameful experience. I was driving down to France from a famous restaurant in Valais saint Somme, and the, one of the site managers rang me up and said, Andrew, I can't believe what you've done. The silence. He said, we, we've got three or four generators on. We were meant to have power on. This is a complete shamble. What have you been doing? And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm in real trouble now. And, and literally, we were completely let down by the utility broker. And that was in timing, because I decided to maximise, because I realised I needed to change, and I needed to get somebody who could back us up and do their job appropriately. And quite clearly, this person hadn't done that. And I have to say, I was disingenuous to them in the extreme, because I was looking forward to my lunch. And, um, you know, uh, we, we, we decided that the, the, uh, the elements in relation to the legal due process were mentioned, and so... We got the power on, but it was a complete mess, and the site manager rang me up a couple of weeks later and said, never, ever do that again to me, Andrew. So, fine, thank you. I've learned my lesson. Commitment. Well, I think Maximise are committed in what they do. I think they've got... And certainly in that initial meeting, I was quite impressed. I felt, yeah, they really do want the business, and that's quite, quite, quite important and quite significant. Well, after, after the meeting, I went on, and I felt that... the as, as Andrew would probably verify, I, I do like to see the whites of the wire. I want to see what the operation looks like. People from the front end of the business can actually hold out that they are fantastic and all the rest of it, but actually the substance isn't quite there. So I, I want to see the operation. I want to see how they work. I want to actually get in sense of it because that is quite significant in terms of how they will operate upstream and downstream. And I quite like their style. I like the attitude of the, the staff. I thought they knew their business. I think they had a bit of panache, and I think it's quite important. I mean, you want to do something differently. You want to have a bit of flavour, you want a bit of, bit of spark, and certainly there was a huge amount of that in the office. <laughs> Demonstrable success. Well, I mean, clearly uh, that was quite easy. They had vignettes in terms of what they did, in terms of um, various things like the Cutty Sark, etc. I checked it out, I was quite impressed with that. That looked quite good. And once again, I could see that in terms of the staff, and I spoke to quite a number as I, I walked around the office and, and had a chance to meet and, and, and have a, a quick, quick chinwag with them. Ability, well, I found that ability matches everything. I certainly believe that, and I hate to say this, but you can't put in what God's left out. You know, people who are bright and able and adaptable and have ability will do well for you. And the selection in business is to find the people that are more able and more adept than you, because that's important. And certainly I saw that in bucket loads in, 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 in Maximize. They were knowledgeable. Now, I have to say that we had actually considered corporately as to whether or not we wanted to set up our own utility brokering business. Andrew will bear witness to this. I mean, we looked into it, put a proposal to the board. We thought this was something we could do. We looked at it more closely. I realised it was a volume business. I realised it was something we couldn't actually get involved with, so we dropped it. But I had a bit of knowledge in terms of how it worked, and, and I was impressed that they had the knowledge, the critical knowledge to do the job, as they said they would do. Empathy. Well, they certainly understood where I was coming from, and after my uh, complete shambles relating to the power on and that particular job, um, they empathised with me. I understood all sorts of problems I had with the utility bills and I had utility companies. And I have to say... You know, I really didn't like him at that stage. Still don't. <laughs> Due diligence. Now, I, I had a good look at uh, 
the, uh, the, 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 the company accounts, as I'm sure you remember, you'll probably be surprised that I asked for them. Um, I asked for a full set of accounts, went through, put the usual ratios through to check the company had the ability to do what they were doing and also was a solid trading platform. I, I still was a bit of a doubtful Thomas. My middle name's Thomas and D Doubting Thomas was boss on, I have to say. And I, I was impressed. We did the usual ratios. It was a good company, well run, and, and making solid profit. And I was quite, oh, quite impressed, actually. I thought, that's, that's, that's a good, good platform. This fellow can do what he says he can do. And it would matter. Now, that was, that was quite important to me. I like to matter. And uh, <laughs> I, felt that, I felt that I would matter. And that's significant, because there are times you feel that you're just a... Uh, you're just flopsome in a, in, a, in a sea and you're not going anywhere and you're not going to happen and nobody really cares about you. And certainly my dealing with the utility companies were, were substance to that, so I felt I just didn't matter. I wasn't significant and they would do what they liked, irrespective of whatever regulatory influences, influences and input were happening. And I have worked for a period of time, 10 years for regulators, I know how to, to cause real trouble, but I couldn't cause trouble with the utility bills. They seem, utility companies, they seem to be above all of that and, and not responsive to it. But I felt I would matter in relation to maximising terms of clients. Results. Now, I think it's quite important to, to say the results are significant, and they are the acid test of any success of any corporate. And I, I, I went to one of the guys that be dealing with one of the chaps. And this is what he said. I mean, you can read it for yourself, but basically it's a, it's a good, solid testimony. This chap, Paul, is, is a, what you'd class as a... He's been out on site since man and boy started at 16, 17. He's well versed in what he does. He doesn't take fools, doesn't, take, doesn't accept any fools, doesn't accept anything that requires anything other than a high standard. He's a bit dismissive at times, uh, and, but, but when I asked him, and it was completely, you know, I said, well, tell me what you think. I didn't actually sh to shape it or said, look, I want this or what, and he just came back with this, and, and that's what he said. And, and basically, that was a really positive thing in terms of power on and... and, and so it's, it's not it should, a right-hand man, perhaps is, that's probably, uh, you know, but you would understand where I'm coming from. I would consider them as my right-hand man. Now, that is a very strong accolade. And, and I didn't prompt it, and, and that, that says it is. That says it is, and that's how, how it, it stands for. Chaps at site, on-site level, which is, is where the business is made, won, success is secured. Results, this is the power on in utilities. That says it all, that's... Uh, projected in terms of we didn't take the deal, but that's the sort of figure we're talking on, that's a solid result. Any savings we make, I always say, well, that's somebody's job, which is fantastic, because it means somebody else doesn't need to be made redundant, uh, and obviously everybody's watching costs, and, and I know these individuals quite well, because I've worked for the corporate for 12 years, and you get to know them, and every time you make savings and put it on the bottom line, you know the corp company is going to do well, and they won't mean anybody having to, to look at costs in the way that it impacts on individuals, and that's significant and important for me. So I was quite pleased with that. This is my view. I thought I'd try and summarise what I felt was the, the key, definitive, from a customer point of view, experience to maximise. They get on with matters. They tell the truth. Hallelujah. <laughs> they try their best. Now, I never, ever expect anybody to do nothing other than do their best. People who are doing their best... That's brilliant. It's somebody that's not prepared to put the effort in that I get frustrated with. Because I think that's the test. If you've done your best and it hasn't worked, I'd probably be a bit tolerant about it. They keep me informed. Well, I do like the emails. I keep a little flick through. I might not respond to them. I'm, I, I struggle with, uh, with typing with two fingers, but there you go. They don't need to be micromanaged. I have difficulty enough managing myself, you know, so you know, they don't need to be bothered, bullied and cajoled to do something. <coughs> they get results. Well, what I've shown you quite clearly is the results that they've secured for us. Now, they've done other things in relation to power, and I could wax lyrical about it. I don't feel that it's appropriate because I know that, they know that, and they have performed. But they do get results. They save me money. That's quite important because money is the driver. We're here to make money, secure money, save money, and that's important. Every penny you save means money that you don't necessarily have to make. And I get the credit. Well, I have to say, that's important. I mean, there's nothing better in life than being patted on the back and said, well done, that's a significant saving. How did it all happen? And I just say, well, you know, it just picked the right people. Yeah? Because actually, you know, it, it, just, it just works well for me. In short, they make me smile. And I wouldn't say this if this wasn't the case. They do make me smile. <laughs> And I thought that summarised, for me, 
encapsulated so far, it might change because you never know what things will be and you need to be vigilant in business. But so far, that's, the, that's my feeling about Maximise. They maximise my smile. So thank you very much and I've enjoyed having the opportunity to say so.